Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, we'll be doing a review for Power Girl Special Number One. This uh, the main story for Power Girl here is continued from Action Comics 1053. So we we've been following Power Girl in those backup stories uh, that have been really interesting. Uh, but the first story, Dark Knight of the Soul, written by Leah Williams, with art by Marjorie Savage, colors by Savage and Maurice Luis, and letters by Becca Carey. Uh, this story focuses on Power Girl as she takes center stage with new powers and a new mission. So all that stuff you can read in the backup uh, of Action Comics. All that stuff has been uh, in, in the backup stories there. So if you want to go check that out, I highly recommend you do so. Uh, in this story, Power Girl faces a challenge unlike any she's experienced before with a shocking one-shot rising from the events of Lazarus Planet and Action Comics. With Omen's guidance, Power Girl now strives to battle the demons, literal and figuratively uh, lurking within the minds of some of the greatest superheroes of the DC Universe. But the nefarious Johnny Soro has been searching for a connection to Earth Zero, and the superheroine's uh, work may unwittingly give them the means to make their world his personal stage. Can Power Girl and her strange super family bring down the current on Soro's evil plans and at what cost? Uh, I'm not very familiar with Johnny Soro. I don't know if it's a new character or if somebody's going to bring him back for this, but you, that doesn't really matter for the purpose of the story. Uh, I've really been enjoying what uh, what Williams and Savage have been doing in the backup of Action Comics and just kind of the this renewal of uh, Power Girl, uh, you know, new power set, uh, different outfit, new friends, but still the same old connections to the super family and all that stuff is explored very well here. Uh, let's pull up some preview art here also because uh, Savage's redesigns are amazing. I love here, this first page, obviously, I mean, it's definitely like a, a perfume ad, right? Just like, like kind of going off of that. And and then we go into this world, this mindscape of, uh, of Sorrow's design. Um, but I, like I said, I love... Marjorie Savage's art and, and colors with with uh, the help of uh, Marisa Luis. And I just love this wall that they've created here uh, as we explore. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of really cool outfits, too. Um, it's very it's a very trippy story, too, because of the mindscape of it all. Uh, and you get to see a lot of your favorite characters in the super family. And of course, these really cool jackets. I really love the redesign for Power Girl. Uh, and Omen's also a very interesting character. So I'm glad they're kind of working on this stuff together. Uh, this this was a really fun story. It is a one-shot. Uh, we will definitely see more Power Girl in the future. That This book definitely hints at that. Uh, but yeah, I think Williams and Savage have been doing some really fun work with the character and the characters around her. Uh, so I want to see more of that in the future. Uh, we also have Fire and Ice in a story called Hot Water by Joanne Starter and Natasha Bustos, with colors by Tamara Von Villain and letters by Anna Mayer. Uh, this, this backup story is an introductory tale. Fire and Ice respond to a natural disaster in Baltimore, debating whether to involve Ice's old flame guy Gardner. Uh, if you've been reading Human Target, you'll know a little bit more about their backstory, uh, even though that's kind of an Elseworlds thing. Uh, but when Guy causes some major drama at the scene, Superman gets involved to stop the fight. Um, this is a really fun thing. They're also putting a lot of, as DC is also doing a lot of emphasis on fire and ice. Uh, I believe they're about to get a, a new book along with Power Girl. Uh, here's some of the preview art. Uh, you know, Natasha Bustos, fantastic artist. Uh, great colors by Von Villain, just very bright, very vivid. Uh, and, and yeah, I just kind of love to see these two team up. It brings a lot of really fun memories back from uh, Justice League International. Uh, cartoon when we got to see some of those characters, uh, but also just having Guy Gardner come in um, and be a little bit awkward. I mean, he's usually kind of a brash character anyways, but his relationship with Eyes is a little bit awkward, and I think this book definitely captures that, along with the superhero shenanigans. Uh, so yeah, it'll be fun to follow all three of these characters and the people around them in the upcoming months. Um, there's some really cool covers for this book. You can check them out at the end of the video. So if you read this, let me know what you thought about it. And stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.